You have 18 CDs and you need to arrange 8 of your favorites on the shelf near your stereo. How many ways can you arrange these CDs, assuming that their order makes a difference to you? There are two ways to do this problem, and I'll illustrate both. The first is to say, well I have 8 slots to fill with these CDs. I have 18 CDs to choose from. The first slot, I can put any one of those 18 there. The second slot, I only have 17 left because one of them is in the first slot. And then I have 16 options for the next spot, 15 for the next, and then 14, 13, 12, and 11. And you can multiply all these numbers together to find out how many ways there are to arrange 8 of these 18 CDs in order. If you multiply these together, you'll get 1,764,332,560 possibilities. The other way to do this is to use the formula. Now, since in this case order matters, we'll use the permutation formula, where n is 18, because that's the number we're choosing from, r is 8, that's the number that we select from that pool and then organize, so that would be 18 factorial divided by 18 minus 8 and minus r factorial, or 18 factorial divided by 10 factorial. And if you pull up the calculator and type in 18 and then go to the math menu, scroll over to the probability menu and down to number 4 for the factorial, and then divide that by 10 factorial, go over to the math, over to probability, number 4, we get the same answer, 1,764,322,560. The other way to do this is to use the built-in function for permutations. Notice number two on the probability menu is NPR. First we have to enter N, the number that we're choosing from, which is 18. We have 18 CDs to select from. Then we go math over to the probability menu, select NPR, and then put in R, the number that we actually select and order. Enter, we get the exact same answer. So really two ways of doing this. One, you can think about the slots that we have to fill and how many options we have for each one and have this descending product that goes from 18 down to 11 and then stops because we run out of slots. Or you can think of the problem as a permutation problem and use either the formula or the built-in function in the calculator. Any way you do it though, you get the same answer as long as you do it correctly. And any one of those methods is fine.